Hey guys, welcome back after a wonderful holiday season. Uh, today, we're going to get into a tutorial for Gravity Zero. So I just re-showed you guys the trailer for Gravity Zero. First I want to get into a little bit of history, uh, how I came up with the uh, method of doing this. Uh, a while back I found the effect on YouTube, um, looked at some various ways people were doing it. Some of the methods that uh, I found uh, here on YouTube before I found Rick Lax's uh, Vertigo, uh, people would put coins in the box so the coins would would be on the bottom part but they'd be laying down as to where they were really exposed uh, but that caused a, a way to balance it without the box falling and then they would just take a white piece of paper and put it in there or part of another card or card box just so when you looked in there it didn't look so unnatural but still you know the the white thing across the whole base covering the coins there I didn't really like that method uh, but I like the idea. I like the idea of you know getting your cards out, being able to balance your box uh, on top of that. And uh, so I did a little more research and came across Vertigo, uh, Rick Rick Lax's version. Uh, you know he took it out, showed a look really clean, showing the card box, balances it, and he also goes into a phase two. Uh, I highly, I still highly recommend uh, checking Vertigo out for the for the second phase where he takes the cards and actually balances the cards themselves on the box. Uh, There's a pretty cool method to doing that. Um, but I'm not going to really expose Rick Lax as anything. Um, I did mention to him I found a, a, a different way of doing it than he does his. Um, uh, I'm not going to try and get into too much of his, but uh, he said, you know, if the variation was, was similar but not his, uh, as long as I'm not exposing his, he's okay with me sharing it. I don't know if he meant for YouTube or whoever, but he just said I could share with whoever I wanted. So I, I, got a, I got his okay first <laughs> to feel a little okay sharing uh, my method. And so that's the kind of the history. I found uh, people were doing it with coins, balancing it. I didn't really like that method. Um, Rick Lax's method. And in my way, I, I really thought, um, how could I do it? And I found out my way before I learned Rick Lax's way. Uh, and, I, and I personally thought that when I found out how Rick Lax did his, when I watched the DVD and stuff, um, when I watched his Vertigo, uh, I, I really felt that his way of doing it would have been the exact same way of mine. Uh, when I first found this method out, I thought it was the way he was doing his. It comes out that uh, the way he does his, uh, his gimmick is different than uh, the gimmick I'm gonna teach you guys today. So this is my variation. And uh, so that's the history. Uh, I learned the coin part. There's a couple other methods on YouTube I saw I just didn't like. Some kid had an L bracket, some kind of L bracket, and you still had to cover it up in two areas, and you had to take some cards away so if the cards fit inside the box. Uh, I, I just wanted to be able to do the trick, pull the cards fully out of the pocket, and it be sealed. You can open it up, pull the cards out, show the box empty, and do that, and then go into your card routines. Let's get into my method, and I'll share with you how to make the gimmick uh, that it'll take to do this. I'll share with you guys where to get the material to make your gimmick. Uh, it's really not that hard to make. Uh, you may have noticed from the trailer, uh, if you pause it at certain times, it may not look completely clean. You may see something way deep in there. Um, the first time I made the gimmick, I spent a lot of time on it. And it doesn't take too much time to make, but I spent more time making it so it would fit in there perfectly. 
<laughs> Suspense is killing you guys, isn't it? <laughs> what, what is the gimmick already? We'll get to that. Um, this second one I made uh, solely to show you guys in the preview to see if you guys would be interested in learning it. Let's get to the gimmick. So the more time you take on making the gimmick, the more it's going to look natural inside the box. Um, so what is the gimmick? Well, all right, fast forward there. This is my gimmick right here. Okay, so what, what I did here is I took another box and I cut the bottom of the box. Like I, I folded this bottom part up and there's another piece under this. And I took out that bottom piece and put my gimmick, this stuff on it, which is lead tape. I'll show you guys where to get this stuff from and, and I'll talk about how I came up with lead tape as my method. Lead tape is heavy. Uh, the more you stack, it still stays pretty thin. And um, what I did is I took that bottom piece of the box. And also, if you look inside a box, you'll notice there's two flaps on, inside of the box that fold in. And so I cut those out and, and taped it on there too. So if it's in a box and they're looking in there, it, it looks pretty natural at the bottom of the box. The issue with this gimmick is I didn't make it wide enough. So the reason, if you pause the video, you'll notice that um, there may be some shadowing on the sides in that video um, because I didn't make it wide enough. So when you guys make your gimmick, uh, get an old card box or some kind of white paper uh, that you can make the base of the, uh, when they're looking in there, that's what they see. Um, but make it, cut it first larger. You'll cut it larger than the bottom. And as you're fitting it inside the box, you can, you can cut it to fit. See how that, that's fitting in there? really easy. You want it to fit pretty tight. Uh, but across it fits really good, just not uh, the width wise. Length is good, width is not. So what you guys want to do is, is find an old box, a uh, white piece of paper, something that will cover your lead tape at the bottom and cut it bigger than the, than the hole and just start cutting it to fit the hole so it fits really tight in there. The lead tape itself is wider than the box here, not by much. Uh, so what I did is I, I took the lead tape and I cut it in half and started taping it on one side and then on the other side so it would layer on top of each other. But what you could do is uh, just cut strips the length of the box. This has an adhesive to it so you'll peel it off and tape it down. So what you could do is start doing that and then cut it to size or you could just cut your, your base piece first and then start uh, cutting strips onto it and layering it on the base strip. But what you want it to do is to look natural inside the box. Uh, just start putting on a little bit at a time and then seeing how it weighs as you're inside here. Let me put this in here real quick. So just put a little bit of tape, lead tape at a time on it so then you can figure out where it's gonna, where it's gonna be so it balances. Uh, so you won't have to put too much on it. Uh, you'll just have to put enough that until you're ready for it to balance on your cards. So that'll just take some experimenting with, uh, if it doesn't, if you don't have enough, then you can take it out and put on more, uh, and then get it out, shake it. So that's the gimmick right there. Uh, you just want to keep layering it. It's really thin. That's why the cards fit all the way in the box. So you just want to keep laying it on top of each other until you get it to that point where it'll balance. And then what we get here, and then what we get here is your cards will fit completely inside the box. Now you'll notice there will be some bulging. There's a little bit of bulging out because it is, it is a little thick down there, but it, you're going to pull this out of your pocket. And that right there is not going to be noticeable to them that there's, oh, there's something at the bottom <laughs> poking out there. So then you can just lay the cards on the table. Um, I'm not, I haven't tried this yet. I want to hand it to somebody before I take it out and just, I'm going to try it to my brother who, who I gave the first gimmick to because he does some magic and see if he notices there's a weight difference. Um, I don't know if you'd notice it too much if you didn't know the weight of a card, if you don't pick up cards too much. So you can hand it to him and say, well, check out the box and then take it back and you can take your cards out. And that's when you can fully take your cards out and then show the inside. It looks completely natural. So yeah, lead tape. Where do you get lead tape from? Well, I play golf. And that's how I came up with this idea. Uh, lead tape is used in golf to make your clubs heavier. 
my dad uses it on his putters. I've never personally put it on putters. I've putted with lead tape on putters before that my dad's put on his putters. And, and people layer on their putters to make it heavier uh, to give more of a feel for putting. So you can get lead tape uh, at a local golf store. If you have a local golf store near you, uh, you can get this stuff there. Uh, I got this at Shields. If you have a Shields, it's a big chain of out, outdoor stuff. I got this at Shields. I also have other local golf stores I can go get this at. I know that for a fact. So if you have a local golf store near you, you can get this stuff. So just go check a local golf store out. And you should be able to find this stuff. If you don't have a local golf store near you, uh, you can get this stuff on Amazon. Just search lead tape. You should be able to get this stuff. Uh, so now you know my little gimmick. It's really thin tape. Uh, just cut an old box up if you have an old box. So you'll cut the whole face of the box and that'll give you the length automatically since you're, you're using old box or if you just have a piece of paper you can cut to the size of the box but it's easier if you just take you know the face of the box because the inside is already white you'll just use that as the base uh, when they look in there you'll take the face that's what they'll see down below uh, if you can cut up an old box do that I would recommend cutting that and then cut the width to match how wide it is you know, start trimming it down, seeing if it fits. Then start taking your tape. I just cut it in half. I cut a strip out the length of my gimmick and then cut the strip in half and then start just layering it on top of the back. Another thing you might consider doing is, is taking some white out or some uh, uh, paint and painting this part white so you don't have any of the silver showing. It, it will be just all be white so your whole gimmick can be white and also taking flaps from the bottom. If you look in your box, you'll see flaps and also taking flaps and just gluing them to each side so it looks more natural. Uh, this gimmick can be transferred from box to box so you can not have to have it on one box. You can do it with any of your cards. Uh, and yeah, so that's the gimmick. It's lead tape. Go to your local golf store. It's like $4, $3 or $4 for a, a roll. Um, and then you can easily make your gimmick. Uh, I'm sure there's other ideas you can use lead tape for in Magic. I know a couple off the top of my head what you can use uh, lead tape for. Or you can just use it for Gravity Zero. So yeah, that is my gimmick. And uh, I would highly recommend still checking out Rick Lax's for, to learn that uh, uh, Variation 2 or Version 2 or whatever is where he takes the cards and, and stacks them on like that and they, and they balance on there. They defy gravity that way. Uh, so that is my gravity zero. I hope you guys like this because uh, you know it took some time. Uh, once I figured out how to do my own variation, uh, I really liked this way of doing it better than Rick Lax. I'm sorry if you see this Rick Lax. I I like this better than than your your variation how you uh, have set up yours. Um, I like the fact that you can have the cards sitting in your box and this box is closed and they see that. You can take all the cards out. You don't have to compromise any other of your cards that I've seen on YouTube from other versions. Take your cards out, do your trick, put the box away, go into your card trick. It's, it's pretty simple, pretty amazing. So that is Gravity Zero. I hope you guys like that. I still have another tutorial coming your way on my other trick, no joking around. I know you guys are going to like the method there. I got a bunch of stuff for Christmas also. I'll be sharing you there. And lots of other videos. I have some news for more giveaways. I know we're not even done with this giveaway first. Uh, the giveaway right now ends on the 17th of this month, January. Uh, but I have more news coming up. I'm going to share with you guys coming up on more giveaways that I have going on this year. So stay tuned. I thank you guys so much. Those of you who have subscribed, if you haven't yet, hit that button. There's going to be some awesome stuff coming on this channel. Uh, more giveaways throughout this whole year. Uh, so let's let's keep this channel going. I'm going to keep giving you guys content. I hope you guys are loving it so far. Uh, my little boy here is going to do some more magic for you guys coming up. And uh, what? yeah, so my little boy here got me some cards for Christmas, and I got some other stuff I'm going to share with you. So uh, stay tuned for all this stuff that's coming. Lots of stuff. I hope your guys' holiday was awesome. I know mine was. Uh, so happy holidays, happy new year. Thank you for subscribing. Uh, if you haven't yet hit that subscribe button, come back for more. Go check out my, whoa, <laughs> go check out my giveaway. Uh, if you haven't done so yet, we still got that going on until the 17th. And then, uh, well, we'll go from there. We'll see you guys next time on White Arts Magic. Thanks for stopping by today. See ya. <laughs> I did buy.
Yeah.